biggest differentiators of true advice for services and fees for services is how advisors price their services based upon the quantum of product that's provided. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever that someone with half a million dollars in investable assets needs to pay twice as much as someone with $250,000 in investable assets because there's not twice as much effort or care or risk needed to place that amount of money. Similarly, if the advisor only gets paid based upon the placement of some insurance or the placement of some debt or the placement of some investment, then are they truly an advisor representing your needs or are they truly a placement product specialist representing the product? Now, notwithstanding the examples, people do need product, but there are means to an end, and that's all. What consumers want is greater certainty in their financial life, what direction they need to be taking, what expertise they may need. Products are secondary, and in fact, true advice clients they're not really seeking product and the more are they seeking effort. They just want better certainty that they're going to get their outcomes. But when determining is your advisor really aligned to the outcomes for you, make sure they're not pricing based upon the quantum of product. It doesn't make any sense. If you'd like more information on the evolving advice industry, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button above. Or alternatively, if you want a lot more information on articles and blogs that I regularly post, go across to jimstackpool.com. I look forward to seeing you there.